What's up guys, Puzzle Man here. Today I want to do a video that I've never actually done before, but I've been wanting to do for a long time. I want to basically use just aerosol cans to do some customization to my car. So what that means is I'm going to be putting stripes down the sides, I'm going to dip my rims, and I'm also going to do the hood vents on it. Now I have a 2013 Mustang, and I've kind of got a specific design that I want to do on it, but at the same time I think i got some information that might help you out if you ever do this on your own vehicle. Now the hood vents are easy. Pop those out and dip them just like you would anything else. And as far as the rims, Fonzie from DipYourCar.com just did a really good video on it and I suggest you watch it. It's great. But doing larger areas with stripes down the sides and taping and peeling at the same time, that can be a little bit tricky. Not really. It's actually kind of easy. But I'm going to walk you through step by step of what I'm going to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cover the whole side of the car with the tape and drape and just cut out the areas in a general pattern of what I want it to look like, but I'm going to use the tape to actually make it exact. So this is the general pattern that I want to do on my car. So now I'm going to start mapping things out the way I want it to look like exactly. Alright, so I have everything exactly how I want it to look. Now the trick with this, and there's multiple ways to do it, but this is the way I do it. I come back with the thin tape and I put one solid line all the way across wherever I want my peel line to be. And that way whenever I go to peel it, it's one solid piece, but it also it actually shores up these lines to make them exactly the way you want it to look. So this is actually the most important step. So when you put this down, um, you want this to be your finished product and how you want it to look on your car. And also overlap, leave a good length of tape for you to grab later on and peel. So I did a few test sprays and it's 60 degrees outside and I know you probably can't see it on camera but it really isn't spraying well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take them inside and I'm going to put them in some hot water and let them sit for about 20-30 minutes and let this stuff warm up so it sprays good. Otherwise it's going to come out really clumpy and ugly and yeah, you're not going to be happy with it. Oh yeah. Again, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that on camera but this has been soaking in hot water for about 30 minutes and it is spraying much better than it was before. So let's uh, let's go ahead and go to work. Oh, and one more thing. Do one side at a time. I, I can't find the words to finish my story right. It's the end of the world in perfect glory fight. Every day to start all over try. And it all goes to waste. Life grows colder. Okay, so at this point, you're peeled. Before you look and see if you messed anything up, got any tape in it, go inside. Let it dry, have a beer, watch the f***ing Muppets. I don't care. Let this dry. With the imperfections or anything, overspray, whatever you got, let it dry, and I'll show you how to deal with that later. So at this point, I've got a fudge up right here. Run your strips of tape all the way to the nearest body line. Just my way of doing it. And if you're out of the plastic, grab you some paper towels. They'll protect against that overspray for the rest of it. Now with an aerosol can, there's not gonna be much overspray, so I wouldn't worry about going overboard with, uh, with the taping and, and whatnot. 
So I don't have any tape or anything that way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand on that side and spray this way and recover this one area. And that should take care of any problems that you have. Now, if you run into a spot like right here where the body line's curving and you stretch the tape a little too tight, that'll actually peel the tape back up on its own. And if you don't notice it, it's going to do this. So get you a Q-tip and some thinner xylene, toluene, VMNP, and work your straight line back in there. So on camera, I hope you can see all that. That actually worked out really well. That tape makes the straight line, run over with that xylene, in my case VMP, and uh, yeah, it takes care of that really good. I, I don't deserve to live in this darkness. Why have I been cursed? Time is on the side. I always end up totally stranded. I want to be loved, not left abandoned. I really think this car turned out amazing. I love the way it looked. I wanted to do the fin as well with a couple other different stripes, but after I got finished with it, I really thought it would be a little bit of overkill. So with all that being said, I have a big announcement. I finally got my website back up and running after almost a year of development, and I've tried to squeeze as many things as I could on there related to PlastiDev. You can get full strength gallons, pre-thin DYC exclusive colors, the entire dip pearl selection, dip dissolver, pre-dip spray, and many other things. And all this can be found at www.iamthepuzzleman.com. So if you have any questions, send them to me at info at iamthepuzzleman.com or send me a message on Facebook or Twitter, facebook.com slash iamthepuzzleman, or you can find me at twitter.com slash iamthepuzzleman. So guys, I hope this video helped you out. I had a blast doing it and I love the way it turned out. So guys, we'll see you next video and remember, don't be a follower. Do it yourself. I'll enjoy it.